What's up everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to share with you how to make an incredibly simple tofu curry. This recipe is suitable for vegetarians and vegans and is both nutritious and delicious. Apart from being yummy when cooked in a curry, tofu is a nutrient dense food that is high in protein and contains all the essential amino acids that your body needs. So tofu curry is a fantastic dish if you're looking to change things up in the kitchen or if you'd like to add something new and healthy to your diet. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump straight to it. So here are all the ingredients that you need for this recipe. Feel free to pause the video to find out exactly what you need from the supermarket. So here we go, I've laid out all the ingredients for you so you know exactly what you need. Plain tofu looks something like this, and coconut milk is a very important part of our recipe here. First things first, we need to prepare all the veggies. Start by peeling the sweet potato with a peeler, with a knife, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Make sure the sweet potato is clean all the way around. Once the sweet potato is clean, we need to chop them into cubes just like so. Next up we prepare the zucchini, so chop them into cubes just like this. Once you've chopped them all out, add them to a separate bowl. Next up we've got the carrots, same procedure. And then we got the mushrooms, yeah boy! Blasting through this already. On to the next item, we've got the onions and we have to dice them into very small cubes, just like so. And then we have to crush the garlic with a garlic crusher. Do this in any way you can, you can use any type of garlic crusher, it all does the same thing. As long as we get them into small little bits, that's the goal. Next up we have the tofu, dry it with a paper towel on either side. Then we have to slice the tofu into cubes. We just love making cubes, everybody. So keep going, you're almost there. Yes, all the veggies are prepared. Add a generous amount of olive oil to the pan and bring it to a medium to high heat. Onions go in first and wait until they start sizzling. Give it a little bit of a stir. And then minced garlic go in next. Add one cube of vegetable stock and keep stirring and away and away we go. Next up, one tablespoon of curry powder in the mix. Add a couple of dashes of ginger powder or you can add fresh ginger, about one inch will do the trick. Stir it up and then the little carrots go inside. Sweet potatoes next, mm -mm, yummy yummy in my tummy, smells good. Okay ladies and gentlemen, cover up and reduce the heat down to a low heat and allow it to cook for about 5 minutes. Remove the lid, the next thing we want to do is to add the chopped zucchini. Give it a bit of a stir and then add the lid on top and let it heat for about 2 minutes. Remove the lid and wow, look at those colors. Looks like it's coming together nicely, everybody. Side note, when you're stirring, make sure you're mixing everything properly from the top of the pan to the top of the pan, just like so. Cover it up again and let it cook for another two minutes, please. Remove the lid and wow, the colors look even better than the last time. We're getting there, everyone, almost there. Carry on stirring, stir away as you please. Next up, we have chopped mushrooms and tofu go inside. Mix it up and then cover up for another two minutes. Next up we want to remove the lid and add a bit of salt to taste and to extract the juices from the veggies. This time I've chosen to add just a little bit of salt. Keep stirring and then cover up for another two minutes. Remove the lid and then wow, looks like everything's coming together very nicely. Now time to add the coconut milk which is one of my favorite parts of this recipe. Mm. 
Ooh, looks nice and creamy. Mm -mm -mm. Now, finally, we want it to rest for about five minutes on a low heat and stirring from time to time, and then we're good to go. Give it a bit of a taste to see if everything's fine, just to check on the salt and see if you need to add any more curry. Presto, we're all done. Well done, everyone. Now time to lay it all down on the plate very nicely with some rice on the side. Feel free to garnish it with some cashews if you like. That's it for now everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, comment or subscribe. And why not hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Your support is very much appreciated. My name is Kasim, thank you so much for watching.